Okay, well I still got the camera in my hands. Uh, by the way, I do, I, I just checked. Uh, the Sabre cases are gone. Uh, those sold quick. And what I got also in today is a cable I've been wanting for a long time. It's a USB cable. Brand new in the package. And it's for the XTS 5000. And it also does the 2500, which will suit my new one very well. It's a really, really, really good cable. I've already had my XTS programmed up to it. It reads and writes fine. And it's a very, very high-end cable. It comes with the testing lead. The other cable's gone. I just sold that tonight to a guy in Canada. And uh, normally I don't ship out to Canada, but uh, this guy is a pretty good guy. And he needed one, so I went ahead and let the other one go. Uh, not sorry I did, but... Yeah, this is a really, really good cable, and like I said, it's brand new. It's got the sheet that comes with it. It's in the wrapper. Also, uh, I was wrong about the radios. I did check, and uh, I've got an MTS 2000 top display and VHF coming in. Uh, which will be a Jedi in mint condition and uh, I've also got an HT1250 LS Plus that is coming in with the charger that's an impressed charger and uh, the only problem with it is there's one hitch it's locked so it's gonna cost me 15 bucks to get it unlocked which kinda sucks but at the same time I got a good deal on it and uh, so I'm getting a 1250 Warner series like this and it's an R split and like I said it's locked which just means it takes a password to get into the CPS cost 15 bucks to get it get that password cleared uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have it cleared and uh, then that will also uh, be up. I, I'll probably keep, in fact, I know I'm going to keep that Impress charger because I do have the R split that I'm keeping. So all my Warris radios, the two VHFs I'm going to hold on to, and the Model 3 that uh, is completely refurbished, I'm going to hold on to that. So I'll have three Impress chargers with that, all of them with lithium ions. So. Yeah, I do have uh, two more radios other than that XTS 2500 coming in. But yeah, this is a good cable. It's a USB connector. And I put, I was using the serial to USB adapter. And it gave me, uh, I think, a, I forget what the fail, fail code was. But all I had to do was just reload the code plug. And it read fine and it wrote fine. But at the same time, I'm not going to use uh, a serial cable to USB adapter that, you know, isn't a Motorola. So this USB adapter is welcome, a welcome sign to my eyes. And being brand new, it works great. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just one more thing I wanted to throw in, and yeah, the MTS 2000 top display I'm going to probably sell. Uh, and also that 1250, once I get it unlocked, get it in the CVS, get it programmed up, that'll be going out the door as well. So these radios will be going out the door, and so will the uh, XTS, uh, what did I say, MTS 2000. Losing track here. 
uh, had so much going on, it's hard to hard to concentrate on one thing. I am going to try and get a hold of that guy one more time tonight. See if he can't push one more of those NICAD plates into the box. So I can sell that with both NICAD and nickel metal hydride. Because that will cover both. And if I can, that will actually make that thing a lot more... Uh, a lot more desirable. It's it's desirable enough as it is, but at the same time, it'd be nice to be able to offer somebody, you know, dual plates. And they do make plates with dual chemistry, but uh, at the same time, these are brand new, by the way, that are coming in. The plates are brand new in the wrapping. The screws are in the wrapping. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm going to write him right now as soon as I get off of here and uh, see if he can't push one more in. If he can't, no big deal. I'll sell it the way it is. But, uh, yeah, uh, I hated to get rid of the other cable, but the guy already bought it tonight, and that will be going to Canada, Great White North. But anyway, guys, take it easy. Later on.